So it's Earth Day, and in lieu of Earth Day, we've got a special, and we're looking at renewable energy sources, particularly one very common and popular example, solar energy. Now, you've probably seen solar panels that look like this, but much larger on tops of buildings and on the roof of houses. And what they do is solar panels collect the light energy from the sun and convert them into electrical current. That current is then sent usually to a bank of batteries that are inside the building or house. In the case of this circuit, we're using capacitors to act as our battery. and We've got 580 microfarads of capacitance here. And then what they will do is then those batteries will power things like lights or appliances or anything like that. Because remember, batteries are DC. They're not AC. But then what homeowners will usually do or people in the buildings will make use of a inverter which then takes that DC and converts it to AC so we can use our normal household appliances off of our batteries and then the following day the Sun rises again and it recharges the batteries replacing the energy that was used the prior day so that's how renewable solar energy works so let's show how it functions in this circuit here again we have our solar cell and it goes to a meter and this is acting as an ammeter because we're measuring our current going into our bank of capacitors and this will let me see how much charge they're taking and also when they're fully charged and then to simulate discharging them like we would in a house or a building when we're using lights or something like that we've got a 10,000 ohm resistor hooked up to an LED light and then it's triggered on and off via a slide switch so Let's go ahead and demonstrate how the circuit works. Now, obviously, with the amount of light that we've got here, if I press the press switch, our meter doesn't deflect very much at all because, again, there's not enough light energy. Now, if I take a strong light source and put it on our solar panel and then push this button, our meter deflects all the way over, and then it's going down. That indicates that our capacitor bank is now fully charged, so I can release the button. And now, when it gets darker and we have to use that energy, we come over to our LED. And when I turn on the switch, our LED lights up and it glows. And as the energy from the capacitors are used up, the LED will get dimmer and dimmer and then it'll go completely out and then when I want to recharge it and just shine the light back on our solar cell I quickly recharge our capacitors come back over to our light and now we've got power back in our capacitors again to light our LED back up so that is how renewable energy works in the form of solar power and again I kind of did it as this little thing being Earth Day so again there you go that's how solar power works